The GMT is probably one of the most popular complications found amongst watch collectors, and that's largely down to the fact that even in today's modern era, it's one of the most usable complications. We all have either travel plans to different time zones, loved ones or business interests in other countries. There's always a reason that it's useful at least to know a second time zone. So today we're gonna to be talking about how to tell two different time zones and even three different time zones using a GMT bezel. And of course, if we're talking GMTs, we need to talk about the Rolex GMT Master and GMT Master II. So starting out with how to see two different time zones, we're gonna be using a Rolex 1675 GMT Master. Now the difference between the GMT Master and the GMT Master II is that the GMT Master's main hour hand is actually linked to its 24 hour hand. You can't separate the two to show different time zones. But you can still tell two time zones using a GMT Master and this was actually the original purpose of the GMT Master. The idea was that you would set it to Greenwich Mean Time, which was the main reference time for all pilots, and then you use the bezel to tell a different time zone. So let's say you set your watch to GMT and it's nine o'clock in the evening, but then you wanna take a trip from the UK to Germany, which is two hours ahead. What you would do is you simply rotate the bezel two hours counterclockwise, and then you now have the time in Germany. By looking at the 24 hour hand, you can see it pointing and saying 11 o'clock. Meanwhile, your main hour hand is still indicating nine o'clock. But now let's take it one step further in the same way that Rolex did when they introduced the GMT Master II. As mentioned before, the main difference here is that the GMT Master II has an independently moving hour hand. So if we use the same example, you're starting out in London and then you wanna to travel to Germany, which is two hours away. You can still use the same method, set your time to GMT and then rotate the bezel counterclockwise two hours and then you have your 11 o'clock. However, what you can also do now is you can take out the crown, move it to the first position and then you can independently change the main hour hand or your local time to the German time. So now you have your 24 hour hand is showing GMT, meanwhile your main hour hand is showing GMT plus two. But now you can track three time zones because when you rotate the bezel back to the main position, you can now see your GMT hand indicating the GMT time. And then let's say you wanna to go to New York without losing your tracking of the time in Germany. Well, you then rotate the bezel clockwise because New York is behind GMT. And then you have the New York time indicated on your GMT bezel using the 24 hour hand. So that's just a very quick overview of how to use a GMT bezel. But I'd love to know in the comments below, what do you use your GMT bezel for? Is it for work? Is it for keeping up with friends and family? Or do you travel so much that it's just easy to have a changeable time zone on the go? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below as well as which watch you're doing this with. Luckily here at Chronix, we have both the regular GMT Master and the GMT Master 2, so we were able to show the differences. However, we have a huge range of all different generations and vintages of the GMT Master 2, as well as tons of other GMT watches from all your favorite brands. So make sure you check the links in the description below if you're looking to add one to your collection. And of course, if you like this video, then make sure you like it and share it. If you wanna see more videos of watches, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell as well so you know when the next video comes out. But thank you again for watching this quick overview of how to use a GMT bezel and we look forward to seeing you on the next video.